If you've been wondering what to wear for White Sands National Park in November, this is the video for you. Uh, but, but before we go on further, just make sure to like our video, give it a thumbs up, if you like it, of course. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post videos weekly and would love for you to follow us along on all of our adventures. So now on to what we wore. We went on a cross country road trip for Thanksgiving and the entire week. And so we were planning on what to wear for White Sands National Park because that's where we were stopping in New Mexico. It was a little bit tricky during that time because we weren't sure if it was gonna snow um, or if it was gonna be, you know, weather where we don't have to wear any jackets. And the weather was actually really nice. Mm -hmm. um, it was sunny and in the, I wanna say it was in the 50s, right? In the mornings it yes. started out in the low 50s and then by the time it was like in the afternoon by noon, it was probably in the high 60s. So it was high 60s for White Sands is like perfect weather. I thought it was actually originally gonna be a little bit, co a little bit colder. So we did, we did dress in layers, which is great. Um, and that's like, I think the key for White Sands is that you need to dress in layers because the mornings start out cold and then the afternoons it gets pretty hot because you're kind of walking in the sand, so you're exerting a lot of energy, so yes. eventually you get hot. And then of course when the sun starts to set, then it starts getting cold again. Mm -hmm. So our activities included uh, sand sledding and a little bit of hiking. So we actually, oh and also uh, sunset photos. So those are the three things we were going to do for our day in uh, White Sands National Park. In the morning when we went snow sledding, I decided to wear my favorite outfit, <laughs> for especially for on road trips this cashmere set from Anatomy, and they're like a jogger style, so they're super comfy, high-waisted, and this is the turtleneck that goes with it. And they have this in uh, other colors, but I really wanted this nice um, oatmeal type of color to go with the sand for taking pictures. I thought it would be like a really nice, like a slight color contrast. I did wear this set, but because I'm, <laughs> I'm always so cold, I wanted to wear something underneath this. So usually what I wear when I go somewhere cold is Uniqlo's Heat Tech gear, so under the pants, I wore a base layer, and it's very thin, so it's mm. almost like you're wearing nothing, but it really does help retain the heat. So I always wear this under pants when I go to somewhere cold, and I, have, I even wear this under jeans that are stretchy, mm. and, it's, and, it, and I can close them, and I can button the jeans just fine. And on the top, I wear this usually, actually I usually wear this unique little heat tech top under all my sweaters. So I wore the, these two underneath, and it was perfect. So the one thing I was worried about was how fine the sand was gonna be and how much it was gonna get into my boots. And so I brought boots that came above my ankles. I wore these Sorel boots that are easy to put on and off. There is a zipper on the side. And I was a little bit worried that a lot of sand would get in these boots, but actually barely any sand got in and we were running up and down the hills and um, it was fine. So when at the end of the day, when I emptied the boot, not a whole lot came out. So mm -hmm. I was a little bit surprised about that. I really thought more sand would get into them, but these really worked out great. And then shortly after we went hiking, I will say I got a little bit too warm. <laughs> so it probably wasn't necessary to wear the heat tech underneath um, during the day because when the sun came out and we were hiking, I was starting to get a little bit hot. Um, so. You know, if I wanted to, I could I could remove this and just have the black top and that would have probably been perfect. I wanna note one thing, that although this was super comfy and I love the look of it, for sledding, these pants didn't work out that well only because it's so um, soft and it was sli I kept sliding off the sled. So it was hard to keep my butt on the sled when I was going down. Like I would go forward into the sand. Um, so yeah, probably not the best choice for sledding. But as far as like the, the hike during the day, these were great, they were fine. So I wore the opposite color of candy and went all black. I mean, completely all black. And so I wore this anatomy top. It's a ribbed turtleneck. It's very thin and it has this really cool detail on the side. It's a mesh panel and it's very form fitting. So but it's stretchy too. Yeah, but stretchy. And it gives you this really sleek look. And for pants, you can go either way. I wore uh, these Express leggings. I've had these forever. <laughs> and I don't even know if Express even has these anymore. But Express does have some cool leggings like this where it has pockets on the side. If you don't want to wear leggings, you can also wear black jeans with this and it would look totally fine. These, I, are, these are stretchy too, right? Yeah, these are stretchy mm -hmm. too. I usually get, actually all my jeans right now are page. 
I love Paige jeans because they are like this stretchy jean fabric. It's pretty form-fitting and it's very comfortable. Black, 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 all black. Plus, I also wore my Uniqlo Ultra Slim Puff Jacket all in the morning and during the day. Actually, during the day and the afternoon I took this off, but in the morning I did wear my Ultra Slim Jacket and it was definitely warm enough. Now, by the time we started sledding, we were going up and down the hill and going up a sand hill. It's no joke. You are using so much of your energy. I was starting to run out of breath. I was starting to sweat. So obviously I got rid of my jacket and I'm actually really glad that I wore like this thin turtleneck because if I wore anything warmer, I probably would have been dying and I wouldn't have wanted to sled anymore. <laughs> It just takes up so much of your energy going up that sand hill. Actually, during the day, we started seeing some people in shorts and short sleeves because that is how warm it gets. You know, once the sun comes out and it was full blown sun with no clouds around, it was really bright. And if you're going up and down the hill multiple times, you're going to start sweating. Also, I would like to note as far as like some accessories to wear, we always wear our bandolier. I wore this one. Yeah. So specifically, this is the Haley case where we have um, a slot in the back to put our credit cards or ID cards, anything you know valuable that you need to keep with you. And this is the Bowie strap. What this does is it has an adjustable strap. So yeah, it's a thick nylon strap that's very adjustable. And it does come with a pouch. Crystal just removed her pouch, so I kept mine on. Yeah, so Candy has a pouch where you can put any, you know some extra things in or you can put a carabiner, attach a carabiner to it and have your keys there. So you just attach it and, and it's a crossbody. So you just put it over your shoulder and just carry everything on you like this. So this is always something that we have on all of our travels. Another thing you must have at White Sands is sunglasses because it gets really yeah, bright. because everything is so white, so the sun's yeah. reflecting. It's just like if you go sledding in snow, like the, yeah. the sun reflects off the white sand, so it's like super bright. Yeah. I actually wore a hat um, yeah. during the day. This is the accessory I wore. Actually, it was in the morning too. But just the hat was not enough for me, especially when we started hiking. So I wore the hat and sunglasses because yeah. <laughs> it was super bright. I could barely see if I didn't. It's like squinting like this um, yeah. if I didn't have sunglasses on. And then as far as shoes for me, I actually wore these uh, stylish boots. These are from Amazon. And I really like the style of these. And uh, it worked out in the beginning when I was walking around in the sand. But after a while, it got a little bit heavy for me. So I do wish I had some hiking, like just regular hiking boots. Um, or what I noticed later and what I did later was just go barefoot. A lot of people just go barefoot on the sand and it's so much easier to yeah. walk around. And just also, like, you know, beach sand. Yeah, and it, but it actually feels really good because it's really fine. Mm -hmm. um, so it felt really good in between your toes, the sand. Yeah. Kuma really liked it. Yeah, and it's actually cool sand too uh, because it's actually gypsum. It's made out of gypsum, so it's kind of like a little bit more compacted and it's very cool. So during the day, it's perfect. In the morning and at the sunset time, it could get a little bit cold, which it did, but I would have rather, I'd rather have my foot bare feet and walking around the sand easily than having uncomfortable boots on, or not uncomfortable, but just, it was way easier to move around in. Yeah, a little bit of a struggle, I guess, yeah. in those boots, because they're kind of heavy. Yeah, um, but, but the, yeah, the style is great. Mm -hmm. So if you're sledding, I would say sneakers or just barefoot works out great. Or these boots like I wore, like these type of hiking boots worked out great too. Yeah. And if you're gonna go hiking a little bit further, cause we probably walked maybe like a mile, mile and a half into our hike. We didn't go too far. If you're gonna go even further, um, I will highly recommend uh, wearing hiking boots, not sneakers, because one, sneakers, you can get sand into your shoes way, <laughs> way more easier than like hiking boots. And also it supports your ankles more because you know, when you're walking on sand, you're gonna slip a lot. So it's gonna support your ankles a lot more. So hiking boots are highly, highly recommended if you're gonna hike further at White Sands. So White Sands National Park is also known for their beautiful sunsets. So of course, we wanted to do an outfit change because we wanted to have a different outfit with a diff like a style more stylish outfit or more elegant looking outfit for the nighttime or sunset time photos. 
Yeah, and we weren't gonna do serious hiking or anything, so it was fine to, you know, wear clothes that weren't like the most comfortable, but, you know, looked nice in photos yeah. and, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think they were still comfortable. Yeah, they were still yeah. comfortable, but not like your typical hiking clothes. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So what I wore was kind of like my same outfit, and then during the day I wore all black, and I wore this cashmere wrap. This is from Margaret O'Leary. They make awesome, awesome cashmere clothes. And one of their signature items that they make are these cashmere wraps. And it feels so good. It's very soft. It is 100% cashmere. So these looked, <laughs> sorry, That's this okay. looked really nice. I always hit candy when I'm doing this because I don't pay attention. It matches our hair color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love pink or rose, rose gold. Um, it's like my favorite color for like the past two years. And they also have these matching texting gloves, also 100% cashmere. So this whole uh, set here is just, it's so comfortable. It really is soft and cozy. And I took some really awesome photos, I think. Yeah, um, and they also have a beanie to this too, if you wanna go all yeah. out matching. Yeah, but these are great to have, you know, if you just want a little bit of extra warmth and want to keep your fingers exposed to, you know, use your devices the perfect solution. I didn't change too much either. The only thing I changed was my pants. So I kept my top on, the same anatomy cashmere turtleneck top. And I did have a, uh, the Uniqlo uh, heat tech underneath. So I had these two and then I basically changed my pants into a pair of white pants. And I got these on sale during the summer. Express always has like these huge blowout sales. And I believe like these were originally like $80, $90 or something like that, but I got it for like $20. <laughs> so this is what I wore and they're like these long wide leg pants. I don't know if they're on the site right now since I did buy them a little while ago, but they have really similar type of pants like all the time. So I would, you know, check it out if you want to get a white pair of pants like these. And then I also wore the hat with it. So these, mm. this is what I wore. For the first part, you know, when the sun was starting to set, it was perfect. I wasn't cold, I was mm -hmm. comfortable. But as soon as the sun went away, it got pretty cold. So I did bring with me a jacket and I did use this because it got pretty cold. So yeah. um, definitely if you're gonna do some sunset photos, you know, in the beginning it won't be that cold, but once the sun is gone, be prepared for the, the temperatures to drop drastically and have a coat ready. Because yeah. um, we definitely needed the coat when the sun went away. So speaking of coats, I did wear my Uniqlo coat as well. But I did want to note too, this other coat that I wore throughout my cross country road trip, I kept on switching between the uh, Uniqlo and this anatomy puffer jacket. Because this uh, puffer jacket just has like a little bit more style to it. It has like this quilted back detail and the hoodie is quilted too, or like this. I like nice. that it has two different types of fabric. Yeah. It's like this jersey knit fabric yeah. with the quilted um, fabric, whereas mm -hmm. the other one was just all that it's same the material, puff, yeah. yeah. Whereas, yeah, this one had a lot more stylish details to it. Another thing I liked about this jacket too was that you can hide your hoodie if you want to. So you just put it in your collar like this and zip it up. And it zips up really easily. And so you have like a slick look instead of having your hoodie out all the time. Um, whereas the Uniqlo, you can zip it uh, off your hoodie, it's removable, but this one just actually hides it. When you're removing your hoodie, you have to put your hoodie somewhere after you take it off, but this one you can just hide it nicely in your collar. And another little detail that they have is a zipper on the sleeves on the bottom, so that was pretty cool as well. But yeah, I just wanted a little bit something different, um, so I would like switch back and forth between these two jackets. So that's basically what we wore at White Sands National Park in November. I mean, I think overall we did a pretty good job. Um, the only thing I think we were missing was maybe maybe one more extra layer of thinner clothes underneath because during the day it did get a little bit hotter than I expected, but it was still fine. I mean, we weren't sweating or anything like profusely, so yeah. we, were, we were still comfortable. So I think overall the key to White Sands National Park is just to layer in November because most of the time the temperatures are in the 60s. So we hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.